Sony Google TV goes well beyond the capabilities of those ordinary smart TV platforms out there. You see, with Google TV, you have access to over 7,000 apps and 700,000 movies and TV episodes, which means you get a ton more added value with your TV purchase. But what if you're a power user like myself and your TV's onboard built-in storage simply doesn't have space for all those apps you wanna download? Well, not to worry. I'm Eric from Sony, and in today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to expand your Sony TV storage simply using a USB drive. Let's get right to it. First, you're gonna to wanna to ensure that you're starting off with a blank or new USB drive. It's important to make sure that it's either new or one that you don't mind losing the files on because this USB drive during this process will be reformatted and we will be erasing anything that's on the existing drive. So again, I wanna make sure you guys aren't losing any valuable information. After you've done this, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and plug the USB drive into one of your high speed ports, USB ports that is, on your television. The way you identify a high speed television port on compatible Sony models, that port will have a blue color on the inside of the port, then you'll know it's the high speed. And this is gonna to be to ensure, again, maximum performance and maximum reliability. After you've done that, we're gonna go ahead and turn the television on. I'm actually gonna do it with you here live on my TV. And I'm gonna have you go to the remote and click the home button. The home button is gonna take you to the home menu. And I want you to go to the settings tab. Now the settings tab is usually towards the right, top right hand corner. For those of you who don't see the word settings, some TVs will have the uh, gears drive or it looks like a gear. You wanna click on that, that's the settings icon. And then you wanna scroll down to where it says system on the new 2021 models. On my TV it actually doesn't say systems, it says device preferences. And then you're gonna look for storage. And that should be the same on any model. So once you find storage, you're gonna go ahead and click that. You'll see the internal storage of the television, which is again, the onboard storage that we're here to expand. And then you should see that storage device or AKA USB drive that you just connected to the television. Now, once you click on that specific device that we plugged in, the external device, you'll notice that it gives you the option to either eject or erase and reformat. I want you guys to click erase and reformat. Again, this is a great time for me to remind you that if you didn't already have this USB blank, this might be the last opportunity for you to do so before the TV does it for you. So again, just a quick reminder. So after that's done, you're gonna click format. Actually, I'll click it with you. Format, and once the formatting is complete, runs through a few seconds of a process, then your uh, external USB drive is now part of your TV's memory. At this point, I would usually have someone take any apps that they purchase or apps that are on the TV hard drive or, or storage, that you wanna put on the USB drive instead because there's more space. You now have the ability to move apps to this device or transport the apps to this device. Again, making more space for um, new apps and new things on your television. One last thing is in the event that you wanna remove this USB drive from the TV, again, don't recommend it, but if you had to remove the USB drive, you're gonna follow a similar process. Again, settings, system, and then storage and then you're gonna be able to click on the storage device and now you have that eject option that we talked about in the initial setup. This will be the time to hit eject and then you'll be able to remove that USB drive safely. Uh, again, remember, once that USB drive is removed, you no longer have access to the apps and to the information that you've downloaded on that USB. So my recommendation would be if you had to remove that USB drive for whatever reason, make sure you transfer those important apps and files back to the built-in or onboard storage of the TV before removing and ejecting that USB drive. If you have any additional questions or require any additional product support, please visit us at sony.com or check out the link in the description below because we have our one-on-one -on -one expert consultation program. And by the way, we are now doing 
video chat, which is even cooler, gives us the opportunity to connect a little bit more intimately in the chat and help you with any questions you may have. Thanks for watching. I'm Eric from Sony. Until next time.